Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. That's what exactly. That's but by having morals and cover their body, how? Long garment. Cover their body so they can show example to the young girls and mm -hmm. daughters and, and cousins and nieces. Not walk around like showing your big breasts and showing people you got a big butt. Well, are they supposed to be wearing pants? Because women, no. No, exactly. Because women, when you wear pants and you drag yourself to somebody to rape you and stuff like that, people commit crime. People that ain't. You're right, brother. Stay right here, bro. Stay right here. There's more to it. Read the second part. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so. Do that again. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You hear that? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What is that going into, brother? In other words, a man should wear the man clothes and a woman should wear a woman clothes. Right. What's women's clothing that men wear today? Because well, uh, we see a lot. Don't be afraid to say it. I'm not afraid of nothing, brother. My, my brother. I just finished with 22 years. I've been out a year. I'm not afraid of anything. All right, say it. Say it loud, bro. Because we got to wake people up. The women supposed to wear the clothes that God says for them to wear. Mm -hmm. And the men should wear the clothes that God tells them to wear. You know what I'm saying? So, shall a man put on a dress? No. Do we see that a lot throughout our yeah, communities? Because, because Obama, he did something that he, he spread that disease that the homos can have liberty and all that, and have freedom, right. and wearing all kinds of clothes. That's right. Like women. So now you can't detect the woman from the man. Right. You know what I'm saying? The latter says men will be like women and women will be like men. Men will be like women. <laughs> you, know, you agree with that, brother? Yeah. So, with the women changing their natural, women's one. All right, verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. Verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. You hear that? They profess to be wise, they become fools. That's why a lot of time 
When you tell a brother, hey, get out that dress. You tell a sister, put on a dress. Oh, 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 don't judge me. Only God can judge me. I got my rights to my own opinions. So they become fools, read that. Yeah. And change the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man uh -huh. and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness so God gave him up to uncleanness. You brought up the fact that Obama had a law that says for the LGBTQ, they have their rights to marry, to do whatever they okay. want, okay. right? He falls a lot of states into that. Exactly. Take, New York too. Yeah, Sometimes, yeah. what, when you, um, when you have a kid, you can't put boy or girl, you gotta put X, right? right? Or you have to wait till the child gets of a certain age, let the child decide what the child wanna be. Like Dwayne Wayne, did you see his son? Dwayne Wayne's son, he's what, a full blown What's his name? Zion? Zaya? Zaya? Zion. Zion, right? He's confused. He's at, he's about 12, 10 years old talking about, I'm a woman. Yeah. What? But, but wait, he promotes that. Exactly. But, he's supposed to but why does he promote it? Because he needs a paycheck? Because, because he's ignorant. He's ignorant of what? God's laws. God. Let's see what God has to say. Because this applies to us and everybody. First, we have to apply to ourselves. Then we got to teach the nations. That's how God commanded the Israelite man and woman to live. That's we, right. Romans chapter 1 verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. God gave them up into vile affection. Now, they're talking about transgenders. They're taking it further and further. You understand? Now you're walking around. You ever watch Maury? When more, he'll be like, hey, is that a man or a woman? Yeah, yeah, well, you have 20 people, woman, 15 people, man, and he come out, oh, I'm a man. Like, what? I thought I was a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't discern who's who anymore. And if you speak against it, what happens to you? Or you, you have hate in your heart. Yeah, they, they say You hate them. Your hatred. Yeah, but when you speak the truth, they're going to say you always, you, you're hating. Exactly. Yeah. But we're speaking God. That's what, remember, America is a Christian country. But you're not speaking the words of God, you're speaking the words of God. Exactly. So when we read the word of God, they get upset. Why? Because they hate God. Right. They hate God's words. Right. They hate to get and, right. And they hate themselves. Exactly. So keep reading. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even the woman, even the woman, the daughters, the black and Latina woman, even her, the girls, whatever age they are, even the woman, did change the natural use into that which is against nature. She changed her natural use, which is that against nature. Now she wants to be a man. Right. And even the women, they take the, the part of their body, uh -huh. pull in their ass and put it back there. And they don't look balanced. They're all balanced. So they want to be like Kadashi. Oh yeah, the Kardashians, they, they, they see white people do it, they want to do it, they want to get blonde hair. Some of them will bleach their skin to look like the white woman, to look like their oppressors. Because the Bible says, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. And accepting the LGBT is choosing one of his ways, because God says that's abominable, don't do it. A lot of people, a lot of women started following Nicki Minaj when she did it. Right, right, right. Yeah, the stars, Hollywood. You understand? Read that. And likewise, also the men. And likewise, also the man. Let's read that again. And likewise, also the men. You hear that? Also the men. The men in the community. What do they do? They put on a dress now. They put on a skirt. Some of them, you got like RuPaul and stuff. They're teaching runway models how to walk. You, you kidding me? You have got to be kidding me. A man is teaching women how to walk on high heels. How, how is that possible? A man is teaching a woman how to twerk, how to be a woman. I'm like, this is defiled. Right. Times are getting worse and worse as time goes by. Right. Read that again. And likewise, also the men, even the young boys. Some of them will do that, like Dwayne Wade's son. You understand? The way where you're talking about, oh, he has the right to choose. Like, well, no, he's only 12 years old. As a father, you have to guide him how to be a man. Right. A righteous man according to the Bible. Read that. And likewise, also the men, 
Even the natural use of the woman. But you, you, you hear that? The natural use of the woman. Meaning what? The men are supposed to fall in love with the woman. But they fall in love with men. Yeah. You understand? They will march. They will march. They will march with the Black Lives Matter. Because the Black Lives Matter is for the LGBT, if you've been witnessing. Right. Black. Uh, life matter is supported by a, a rich white man named George Sumner. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? He supports that movie. But it's lesbians that run it. No, and they have more whites in that movie because I went to a protest in Brooklyn and I told them, listen, how are you going to say that you're a black thing and you got a bunch of white, you got more whites here than you got black? So exactly. Like and it's supposed to be a Black Lives Matter. Right. So if it's a Black Lives Matter, why is it saying? Trans lives matter. LGBTQ lives matter. We've seen this post, and it's supposed to be about the struggling and atrocities that's happened to blacks in the community, being shot by cops. But what? Just like the civil rights movement was for us, so they're exploiting that too and said, nah. They say being what gay is the new black? You're kidding me. Did we have the choice to be hung? Were we being hung? Are they being hung on trees? That's a behavior. What happened to us is a curse, right. it's a difference. Read that again. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, uh -huh. burn in their lust, burn in their lust. Men love men. You see it throughout now. A lot of times when you go through restaurants in these stores, you see the rainbow flag, right? right. If you speak against it, what happens to you? You get kicked out, yeah. you get put on YouTube, you get put on world star hip hop. This man hates us. He hates us. Your hatred. You hate, you hate, you hate. But what about the injustice that's happening to our people? Bring it when out. the black man is being killed, when Molly Graham is being killed, Gregory Vaughn, when they're being killed, how come nobody says, that's not right? You hate Negroes, white man. Right. How come? Because they do. God says they're our enemies. Right. So what do they give us? When they give you this little liberty to have Black Lives Matter, they bring in their stuff. Oh, trans lives matter. LGBTQ lives matter. That's what they do. You have the civil rights movement. They have more rights than us. They have more rights than us. You go to the court system and trying to fight a case against a cop or injustice, they're going to walk away. You understand? They go to court, it go and blows up nationwide. Read that. Burn in their lust, one toward another. Men with men, men with men. That's what, sodomites. Men with men. Men sleeping with men is ungodly according to the Bible. Thus oh, said the Lord. Yeah, but a lot of Romans and Greeks, when they used to go to war, they used to take their little kids and they had sex with them and started disobeying the laws of God. That's what God said. Uh, a man and a, and a man that lives with is cursed. And a woman that deals with a woman is cursed. Right, it's an abomination. That's what we're reading now. Being a Sodom. I remember the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. What was in there? Men. It was a lot. A lot of men with men, women with women. When you read the scripture in Revelation 18, it tells you this place should be called spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Meaning the spirit of sodomizing is here. Men with men, women with women, cross-dressing, drag queens, transgenders, right. all of the above is here. Right. Read. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lives one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. Right, receiving in themselves judgment. They're going to get judged. That's what God is saying. Read on. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. Right, so when we come out and we teach, get out of that lifestyle, they don't want to listen. They call us a hate group. You're a hate group. You Israelites, because you teach the Bible the right way, you're a hate group. You're supposed to agree with us. We're not agreeing. We agree with God. Right. Read that. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. God gave them into a reprobate mind. And why? Because they would not keep the laws. So now I have a question, right? 
you know the, the law, what is sin according to the Bible? Because that's what they, we just read. People are committing sin. Being a sodomite is sin. What is sin according to the Bible? Sin is fornication, man. Uh, you know, if you marry, you fornicate. For example, you know, the adultery, uh, fornicating, that's a sin. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not having respect for your wife. You're going behind her back doing things and your wife is doing the same thing. So right. you're disrespecting each other. Exactly. That's a sin. What about you, my brother? What's your name? Glassford. Huh? Glassford. Glassford. Glassford? Yeah. You've been listening. What is sin according to the Bible? When you take somebody's life, that's a sin. When you take somebody's life, that's a sin. When you take somebody's life, that's a sin. When you steal. When you steal. I was about to say that. And you cheat on your wife, your wife cheat on you, vice versa. Alright, that's a sin, right. Let's see what God says. First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin, you hear that? Whoever commits sin, you Israelite men and women, any of us here, whoever commits sin, transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is transgressing God's laws. Right. So when we commit sin, we're breaking the laws of God. A law or multiple laws of God. So let's go into some of the laws of God that we often see amongst our people that we're not keeping. Give me the beard. Hey, what can I get a Bible like that? This is the King James Version Bible, 1611. You go to any store and pick it up. Listen, this Bible, we didn't make it up. This Bible's been in the Christian church for years right. and years and years and years. The problem is it was never being taught right until the Israelites, God woke up the Israelites, his people to teach it to you. That's right. You understand? Read this. This is a common sin I see amongst our people. Read that. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. One of the sinners don't make baldness upon our head. Like Michael Jordan, George Foreman, uh, Floyd Mayweather. You understand? God says, stop doing that. Read on. That's the sin. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither say you shave off the corner of your beard. Meaning every man has beard and you have a line. Once you cut between that line or you completely shave it off, that is sin. A lot of our brothers, we're guilty of that. Some of us used to do that. But what? When we heard the word of God, God says don't do it. We repent of it. Hey. We let it grow now. You understand? That's what you see. A lot of us that could have beard, we have beard on our faces. Hey. You understand? You understand what that means, brother? You understand what that means, right? What about you, brother? You understand what that means? Do you agree with that? Right, you, you have a baby face, they call it. In a lot of jobs, you can't get a job unless you have what? Clean shaven. But guess what? You can also get a religious observance, which right. they have to abide by. Right. Let's see another law. You gotta get going? What's your name, brother? What's your name again? Ali. Ali. Ali, it was great talk. Hey, listen. Look up this website, all right? Start coming to the school. And you got to start learning, brother. I want you to hear this one final law, though, all right? Numbers, five, numbers 38, 15. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make their fringes in the borders of their garments. So God says, speak unto the children of Israel which are on the side right here, you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and bid them that they make them fringes. These are fringes in the borders of your garment, meaning at the bottom of your shirt. For the sisters, it could be a shirt or at the bottom of their dress. Read on. Throughout their generations, throughout our generation, generations forever and ever. It continues, because everybody has kids. Kids, kids, everybody, grandmother, grandfather, we have kids throughout our generation, read on. And that they put upon the fringe of, of the borders a ribbon of blue. So on the fringe, you put what? A borders a ribbon of blue at the top on the bottom of the fringe. Read on, let's see what this is for. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of, of the Lord. You hear that? When we look upon these, we shall remember all the commandments of God. Right. One of the commandments we read was what? A man said what? Should not what? 
shave his head, right? A man should keep a beard on his face. These are some in one of the commandments. But a lot of us, we didn't know that. We didn't know that. Because why the Christian church hasn't taught us God's laws? They said God's laws are done and over with. But God said, no, it's not. They're still here. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. You hear that? Don't prostitute our daughters to cause her to be a whore. Right. How would you make the young women whores? How do you do that? Because that's a law. It's girlfriend and boyfriend. Is that lawful according to the Bible? Bring it out. What do you think? No? That's unlawful. It's unlawful? Do you think that's lawful? Girlfriend and boyfriend according to the Bible? Unlawful, yeah. You think it's lawful? No, unlawful. You say unlawful. unlawful. I'm going with him. Unlawful? I'm going with him. I'm going with him. No, you got to listen to the Bible. The Bible, it says God say, you know, you have, get married. Right? right, get married. But we're talking about the, because in high school, you have girlfriends and boyfriends. That, 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 in life, that's what we were taught, right? That, 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 that's correct. They do that to explore the little girls. And put them. You said exploit. How do they exploit the little girls? Because as they get older, that mentality will most likely stick with them. By, by teaching them the wrong thing. Just like they teach little kids to be homosexual. They uh -huh. to be homosexual in school. Right, so when a young girl, when she wears tight pants, because God says a woman should not be wearing pants, right. that's a law. How would that prostitute her? Wearing tight pants, showing all her curves and her behind. Yeah, because now she's saying that she can be known to anybody. Uh, when, when you get, mm -hmm. You're giving an open door for people to wish that you wish like you for you and then you won't get mad at you. You won't get mad, right? Does that what about you, brother? When a young woman, when she start wearing pants, because God says don't prostitute her to be a whore, right? So she should be dressing modestly, right? When she start wearing pants or she wears a certain dress that shows all her curves. Is that modest or is that causing her to be a whore? How? What does it do? Putting on the clothes, assuming it happens, showing all the curves that you say, and everybody see that it's in her curves. So how does the man act when they see her? They start whistling at her and they start calling out, hey baby, ya, uh, ha, uh, ha, and stuff like that. Hey, man, do that. Right, they want to kick game and they want to sleep with her. After a while they sleep with her, they sleep with her. They go, hey, listen, that's the hole in the block, right? They kick her to the curb and tell everybody, yeah, you can get to the ride. Exactly, it causes her to be a whore. God says we should not do that. That's why God says when you reach the age of a man and a woman, if you have sex with that woman, you are to marry her. Right. You understand? That's what God says. In the Bible, whoever you lose your virginity to, that's the person you marry. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth